Or do you reconnoiter in Goliath? Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot boars. Got chased into those ruins and haven't come out. Eaten by rot boars? That is no death for a warrior. Concern for an enemy? Well, you're right. No one deserves that death. I wish more people would look for common ground instead of shouting our differences. Why haven't you joined a faction? Maybe I should join the outlaws. Huh. They might call themselves the kings of the desert, but they're just hanging on to survival like the rest of us. And that survival comes at the cost of anyone around them, even their own kind. Maybe I should join the Alps. You don't join the Alps. You're born one, or they choose you. That means most people are taken, rejected, and killed horrifically. The survivors are turned into mindless addicts. They might once have been free people like you and me, but Elix has turned them all into emotionless killing machines. Go to Zaykor if you want, but all that will await you is misery and death. Why did you choose to join the Berserkers and not the Clerics? The Clerics follow the god Kalan, who tells them technology will save us all. I don't believe in gods, and I don't think boxes of cables hold all the answers. I have no interest in factions. I cannot decide whether to join a faction out here. Let's go on. Well, we have a choice to make. You're short of equipment. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. Us to go into the ruins that's up to you but there's a risk to that so maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners it would definitely be safer to bypass them for now so what do you think shall we risk entering the ruins let's go into the ruins a brave choice opportunities are there to be seized those clerics should be around here somewhere Go. Don't you get me? <laughs> These ruins look like they were some sort of machine shop in the old world. You know about the old world. Only what I've learned on my travels. Ruins and wreckage. The old world is irrelevant. Irrelevant? It's where we all came from. 
The Berserkers want to grow the world back to what it was. The other factions pick through its bones, hoping to find the technology it left us. Let's go on to Goliath. Right. Follow me. You say there were Alps in this area. How long ago was that? The raider crashed a week ago. It's been quiet since then. Well, apart from the scouting party on the edge of the forest, it feels like something serious is brewing up there in Zaycor. And that's bad news for us all. You should be able to make your way on alone from here. You can find supplies and get yourself back on your feet in Goliath. And then, the choice will be yours. So I can just leave whenever I want. You should try to get a better weapon and some armor before heading into the wastelands, but that's up to you. Have a look around our community. See what we can offer you. 
What happens if you find an Alb here? They try and kill us, so we kill them. Except the Separatists, a group of Alves that has broken away from Zaykor. Maybe they could be allies. You think the Separatists will help you fight the Alves? Maybe these Separatists want to join the Free People. Maybe they're just another threat. But I'm sure that together, we can defeat the Alves. But for now, the Separatists are outnumbered, without friends and defiant. They're already finding life is hard out here if you haven't joined one of the factions. That makes them jumpy, so I'd be careful around them. They're suspicious of everyone. Well, we have reached Goliath, but this is only the start of your journey. Look for me once you've settled in. You'll find me up at Warlord Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. of the Hooded Crows, and with the power invested in me by the Warlords of Goliath, I hereby challenge you to state who you are and what you want. You should know that Goliath is eternally vigilant in its search for Alps. Dura sent me here. Oh, you're one of Duras's hand me are ya? You better think about reporting to Ragnar, or one of the other Warlords when you get in then. They'll check you're not an Alb spy. All right, all right. You can go in, but all weapons must remain sheathed. Start anything, and a paladin will turn you to ash faster than you can say, I wish that Duras guy hadn't sent me here. Oh, and don't steal anything, or flash technology around. I don't expect any more or less from you. Understood. Good. Then I welcome you in the name of the Berserkers. Who are the Hooded Crows? We are the warrior clan of the Berserkers. Our warlord Ragnar, proven in battle, worthy defender of Goliath, leads us as we stand to defend our cause from all who would oppose it, from within or without. We stand as guardians for fairness and justice, equality and order. All who wish to join the Berserkers must answer to Ragnar. Who is Ragnar? How can you not have heard of him? Ragnar the Fierce? Ragnar, son of Bajar? He is the highest warlord here in Goliath. Literally, he lives up there in the ruins from the old world. Who is in charge here? Weren't you listening? As long as Thorold, the great pilgrim and master of all magic, is away on retreat, Ragnar, warlord of the Hooded Crows, is in charge. Warlord of warlords, mighty and just, he is an example to us all. I wouldn't go knocking on his door unless you're serious about joining us. But you might get lucky and see him in the lower quarter. He likes to keep an eye on things personally. Right, got it. That's why Duras sent you here? To be recruited? You better join us and not the outlaws if you want to live. Follow the laws, impress people, and Ragnar might see fit to let you become a Berserker. Break the laws, and we'll break you. So, your leader Thorold is not in the city? No. Master Thorold, the Pilgrim, glorious, great, and wise, has gone into retreat. There he seeks answers. From there he will return to bring us victory. He will return as soon as his mission is successful. Until then, he has given Warlord Ragnar command of Goliath. Okay, I've got it. So, what can I do to earn my stay? Can you handle a weapon? Yes. Then you'll find work. We're short of people since the attacks began. This place doesn't sound too safe. Where is? With the Albs looking to tear down this whole world. You're short of people? Everyone's lost people to the Alps. Workers, cultivators, warriors. They're all looking for more hands. You'll need to earn your place. But there are tasks for all hands. 
and the shards to pay for them. You use shards as money? What else are you going to use? Everyone uses Alexa as money. And don't start on with trying to barter your way with raptor shit. You'll need Alexa, or decent old world scrap if you want to make a deal. There's no one gonna send me some relief. I need a piss, a sit down, and a different fucking view. How the flying set of syphilitic raptor bags is one man supposed to guard this area alone? What's got you so angry? Angry? Me? I've been ordered to stand here, balls swinging in the wind with rotboros loose out there. With Albs crawling around in the undergrowth ever since that raider crashed out to the west. Oh yeah, why would I be upset? Because I can't think what I've done to be left here, so I can have my man jewels gnawed off by a pack of mutant canines. It's like they want this town to be overrun. There is a guard at the entrance. Yeah, one. Frightening individual I might be, but I'm not gonna stop a pack of rap or a full alba salt on my own, am I? You know rap bars will eat anything, and I mean anything. I need some damn backup. Alvar was supposed to be guarding the seedling field. But can you see him? No, because that lazy, duty-skipping strip of an ass rag has disappeared. You couldn't go and find him, could you? If I'm gonna die, I might as well do it with comfort. Did you see the Albrader crash? Sure, I had a ringside seat here. Whoosh, blam, serves the bastard right. Flying around up there, raining shit on other people. Got some of his own shit back from someone, didn't he? And did you see who shot the raider down? No, something went foom on the thing and down it went. Whatever happened, happened quick. Goes to show relying on technology is pure madness. Nobody would get me into one of those infernal machines at any rate. Machines are against nature. You see what comes of him when it crashes out of the sky. Was it a berserker that shot the raider down? No. No way. If someone from here had done that, they'd have had a parade. And they'd never have stopped talking about it. No. Which does make you wonder who it could have been. What are seedlings? What are they? They're world hearts. What are world hearts? Heart and soul of the berserkers they are. Maglan's very own mother's tent. Shove one of those in the soil and just watch the land around it grow. All this here was wasteland till the milk of mana came and changed it. You feed a seedling with mana and when it's mature, a world heart will clean out the elix and bring the ground to life. Elix poisons the ground? Elix poisons everything. But if we plant enough world hearts, we'll make the whole of Maglan green again. Unless those wretched albs bomb everything flat first. I'll find Alvar. I was hoping you'd say that. You could start by asking Droke. He's probably on duty over at the town gate. If anyone knows where Alvar is, it's Droke. Those two are best buddies. <laughs> 